Good morning friends. So today is going to be a get it all done. I have not filmed one of these in forever and I honestly don't know why but I was kind of thinking like what were some of the videos that I used to film all the time and I was like oh my gosh I used to do get it all done. Not to mention I really need to get a lot of things done today because my house is a complete wreck. As y'all saw my laundry was just like heaping over. I am so behind on laundry because I was trying to play catch up after Colby and Laura left. I obviously had to wash like all the bedding and stuff. So washing all the bedding really put me behind and I am, I'm behind on everybody's laundry. So we're gonna get that going today. I'm also gonna be sharing what I eat in a day. I'm really trying to up my protein and focus on my protein intake. So I've been trying to track my protein, not anything else. My goal is to hit at least 100 grams of protein. So I'm gonna share what I'm eating today to give you guys some ideas on high protein meals. And yeah, we'll just see what else I get into. I'm sure you guys can hear my kids are screaming at each other downstairs. They love playing video games and just like yelling even though they're sitting right next to each other. So there's a lot of background noise, but yeah, hopefully you can still hear me. I did start my day off, of course, with my coffee. I'm still using the Almond Zero. It's almond milk and coconut milk, I believe is the mixture. And this one is the sweet cream. I love the cinnamon one, but now I'm kind of gravitating to the sweet cream one. I love the taste of it. It's only 10 calories per tablespoon, and I do three tablespoons in my coffee. But let's go ahead, head downstairs, and get this laundry going. Okay. Is anybody crazy like me? I literally, whenever I have my coffee, I will just stick it right in my laundry basket <laughs> on the side and carry it like this. Let me know if you guys do the same thing. If you guys follow me on my cleaning channel, then you know my laundry struggles. I have been getting grease stains on everything and I've been trying to troubleshoot, see what's going on. I've got a lot of really good input on my cleaning channel of like things that I can try and do. So I've already done the Tide, um, let me find them. They're like Tide cleaning, or it's like powder for your washing machine. I found this at Walmart. I've done this two different times and it made my washer smell really good and it made it really shiny, but I still was getting spots. So, I mean, I feel like if you're not having a ton of troubles, this would work great. But after trying that, I did go ahead and like clean this whole, like the rubber seal because it was really gunky and nasty in there. I cleaned that, still didn't solve the problem. And a lot of you guys were suggesting to leave this open. So the one thing that I noticed, let me show you guys. Every single time I would go to use my washer, this would be full of water. And as you can see, I need to clean it, it's dirty. But as you can see, it's empty right now. So I've been leaving this compartment open and it eventually will drain this out. So I don't know, I feel like there's a clog in this that might be causing it. So I've been trying to leave that open, get it to drain. Um, I'm still getting spots everywhere. So I ordered these tablets that one of y'all recommended and I just got them in the mail. I haven't used them yet, but let me show you what they are. So these are the tablets, they're by Active. And I had someone say that this is what their repairman recommended whenever they had issues. So I ordered it, it's off of Amazon. It comes with 24 tablets, it was like $20. But if it works, it's gonna be worth it. So it says it cleans, deodorizes, refreshes, and protects. I'm gonna try this after I get some laundry done because unfortunately, I'm so behind on laundry. That's another thing, I keep like running these like cleaning tests on my machine and then that takes like three hours, so I'm so behind on laundry. So we're gonna try this later today and I'll probably follow up in a later video on if they work or not. And the other thing that people have been saying that could be the problem, which I really hope it's not, 
is that you know something is damaged on the inside and it's like a mechanical leak like somewhere in there I hope that's not the case because I'm really at my wits end. If I can't get rid of the grease stains, we're gonna have to get a new washer because I just can't. Like I'm rewashing everything so many times. It's driving me insane. So definitely need to get this fixed sooner than later. I've been using my products at the bottom of my machine to see if it makes a difference. So I use the OxyClean. I dump like half a scoop of that and then I put my beads in there. A lot of people have said like beads could be the cause, but I've used beads for years and years and I've never had this problem. So I'm like, if anything, I think maybe it could be the buildup of using fabric softener, but I don't think it's actually putting them in there that's causing it. I'm back. My husband just called. So I'll know that whenever we moved here, my husband took on a job with his best friend. His best friend is building a company and that's why we came here. And so my husband works with all his best friends from high school and they're all on a kick now of getting motorcycles. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's what he just called me because he wants to go update his license. Whenever we moved here, they accidentally forgot to put motorcycle license on his ID, even though he had it on it whenever he was in Texas. And so he's been meaning to go back and he hasn't. And so now he wants to go back to the DMV. So I had to pull out some paperwork for him, but Lord help me, you guys. I do not like motorcycles. They make me so nervous, not just because of like the person riding the motorcycle, but it's like everyone around you because I feel like people are so distracted driving nowadays with texting and phone calls. I'm just scared they won't see you on a motorcycle and you'll get ran over. So uh, I'm kind of freaking out, but I guess they're looking for like, I don't know what kind of motorcycle it is, but it's like a really like fairly cheap motorcycle. So we would just get like liability on it. Cause I'm like, we don't really have money for a motorcycle, but they're fairly inexpensive. I don't know. He's crazy. Anyway, that's what I got a phone call about. Um, so I'm gonna get the laundry going and then I need to go make me some breakfast cause I am getting hungry. I have been getting so many tomatoes that I've been picking these I picked yesterday I'm letting them ripen a little bit more but look at all of my tomatoes I've been getting tons of jalapenos I need to make like I was thinking maybe a spicy salsa or something with all the tomatoes so they don't go bad um, but I think I'm gonna make some eggs for breakfast I'm gonna throw in some of my tomatoes that I grew and some onions inside of it and turn it into a burrito. My poor puppies, I forgot to feed them. I got this, um, what is it, like dry dog food thing. I got this from Target, it was only $10. I've been wanting one because I keep the dog food in the closet and you know, bugs and stuff. It's so cute, it came a little scooper and everything. That's not yours. We were young. I told
breakfast was really delicious and I did do the macros. So it was a total of 26 grams of protein and only seven net carbs, 14 fat. So that was my breakfast, but I'm thinking I'm going to make a trip to the dump. We have a ton of stuff in the garage once again. I feel like it just keeps piling up. The recycling only comes every other week and so we just fill it up way too fast. So I think I'm gonna load up the car, take that to the dump. I also need to run to the post office. I need to fill this out, but uh, whenever Colby and Laura were here, their son left his new shirt, so I need to mail that to them. I also need to check my P.O. box because when I sent out my Arbonne samples, I don't know if I put the right postage on it, and a lot of people haven't received their samples, so I need to go check my P.O. box to see if it sent it back to me. I'm kind of worried because whenever I filled out my P.O. box, I put my number of my P.O. box, but I didn't put the address of the post office, so I'm worried they won't even be able to figure out where my P.O. box is. So if so, that really sucks because I sent out quite a few samples and they are not cheap and it comes out of my pocket. So I'm hoping by some miracle they just received them and just took long in the mail. If not, hopefully they're at the post office. But. I need to also do that today. So the kids are gonna eat really quick and then I'm gonna see if we're all gonna go up there. It just kinda depends how much room the stuff takes up in my car. So this is what we got going on in the garage. <laughs> this thing is always so messy, but we have, oops, some boxes. I need to break that down. Under the bed, um, the boys toy box thing, I need to throw that away a box i believe that was my husband's new desk chair so we're gonna get rid of the old one that one's all broken and busted up so all this stuff basically right here i need to hopefully fit into my car Got everything in there. It's a little snug. Those bulky items, but we're in. Me and Adrian are off to the dump. Got everything loaded up, and then we're gonna go to the post office really quick, and then when I get home, I have got to order groceries because we are running low on stuff.
while I ran up to the dump, Aubrey folded some laundry, but I do need to switch over the, I do need to still switch the loads over and get some more going. I ordered a new downy scent. This is the Downy Light Woodland Rain. So I'm gonna give this a try. It smells pretty good. I wouldn't say it's like my new all-time favorite, but I think it smells good. I'm excited to see how it makes the clothes smell. Ethan always out there looking for a strawberry. <laughs> what, buddy? Is it done? Let's see. Can't she with me? Oh, yeah. You can pick that one. Oh, my goodness. The camera's fogging up. Ooh. Little update on my garden. It is thriving. I've been getting so many tomatoes. Um, looks like I have a few Wait, more that I could one? pick soon. Nope. Is it done? Look at my bell pepper. My parents said if you just lift it up and, you know, lightly pull it. Not even pull. If you just lift it and it comes off, then it's ready. This one I don't think is ready. I don't know what's going on with this one. This one has, like, brown stuff on it. It's probably not good. Uh-oh. This looks... My green beans are getting some sort of disease, it looks like. Um, but... It's thriving. My cucumber plant has like taken over everything. Lots of jalapenos. I probably need to pick these. Um, just check and see, buddy. Let's see. Well, those are still on there. Good. Let me see. That one. Our strawberries are so tiny. Yeah. Yeah. Those look good. Which one? Like. My squash plant isn't looking so hot. Um, keeps getting flowers, but no um, veggies growing on it. I don't know if it needs to be pollinated or what, but I was kind of thinking of pulling this out. And you see how my strawberries, they're really trying to reach out and make new shoots or whatever they call it. Look at this one. This one has like a little root growing. I was thinking about just connecting it into here and pulling this plant out. Because, I mean, we really love strawberries, so I don't know. I think I might do that actually right now. <laughs> So for lunch, I'm going to do something pretty quick and easy. I have some leftover turkey meat in here. I have been obsessed with those smash burger things. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen it. But I need to use this meat up because it has been open in the fridge for almost a week now. So I'm actually going to smell it and make sure it's good. But I'm going to do ground turkey. I'm going to cook this. And then I'm going to warm up lentil pack as well as the quinoa and brown rice. And just make me a really quick high protein lunch. I know it doesn't look appetizing, but it's really good.
Making a little bit of a dent here. Not as much laundry now. <laughs> oh. Okay. Police cruiser right there. Yeah, it does. dealership he went and looked earlier today and fell in love with the bike so he is there filling out paperwork and stuff I'm really excited for him he used to have a motorcycle like many many years ago whenever he was in the Marines still but he had a crotch rocket and this time he is getting a Indian I think is the name of it um it's not like a crotch rocket I don't know what it's called but it's more like a cruising bike not so much like you know to drive super fast so he's really excited so while he's doing that I'm heading back to the house I got to get started on dinner I know he's really excited to have you know just something to do get out of the house ride with the guys especially now that the other guys at his work are getting one too best friend JJ got his at like four o'clock it's six o'clock now and then his other best friend that he works with got his I think yesterday so Dwayne's the last one to get it and he's so super excited. <laughs> I'm just more so worried about like people on the road and not so much him. I'm just like super worried because you know how people are. I'm sure like the more he rides the more comfortable I'll get with it but I don't know if I'm gonna be getting on it. It makes me super nervous. Even when my husband had his motorcycle last time I rode on it once and I was like nope okay that's enough like it was too scary for me. But maybe this one will feel a little bit different because it's not a crotch rocket. I don't know. We'll see but anyway super exciting we are going to have a motorcycle now just made it back home i'm preheating the oven i have to get dinner started really fast because everyone is starving it is 6 25 so what i'm going to be doing is baking chicken thighs with some barbecue sauce in the oven and then i'm going to be making some green beans with bacon as a side something else to go with it i haven't quite figured that out but i'm going to cook this really fast off camera because otherwise it'll slow me down they're all starving so i have to hurry up chicken is done i did some biscuits on the side just something easy I completely forgot that I had a workout today and I don't want to mess up my workout streak so I'm gonna get my workout in it is 8 20 at night but I'm gonna get it done it's like 30 to 40 minutes typically so I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna close out the vlog I was hoping to have this up for tomorrow for you guys but I'm not sure if that's gonna happen because I would probably be up pretty late so but maybe it'll go up tomorrow maybe it'll go up on Friday but anywho I'm gonna do my workout I'll share a few clips But I'm gonna close out the vlog right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today, getting all the things done, buying a motorcycle. I did not think that was gonna happen today. <laughs> Super random, but that is a day in my life. You never know what's gonna happen. Um, but if you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe. Join my YouTube family. I do upload motherhood content every single week and I would love to have you here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>